Prepare to be captivated by a chilling tale that delves into the darkest corners of the Vatican's history. Did you know that the Vatican hides the severed head of a nun? But why? Brace yourself as I reveal one of the most disturbing stories to emerge from the Vatican's shadowy past. We have more stories to tell, so make sure you like this videos, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Our spine-tingling journey begins in 1752, amidst the eerie halls of the Hohenwart Monastery in Germany. Within its confines, a nun named Josephine Rosenthal resided, bearing a secret that would shatter the very foundations of faith. Strangely pregnant, Josephine adamantly denied any intimate encounters with the monastery brethren or anyone else for that matter. Faced with an enigma that defied explanation, Josephine underwent countless tests that astonishingly confirmed her perpetual virginity. The news of this immaculate conception spread like wildfire, leaving even the staunchest skeptics dumbfounded. Father Arik himself recognized this as a sacred event, an event that would forever alter the course of history. As the world watched with bated breath, Josephine's pregnancy progressed, culminating in the birth of her daughter, Maria Rosenthal. But tragedy struck as Josephine, succumbing to the throes of childbirth, passed away, leaving behind an infant destined for a life of isolation and torment. Maria, born a hermaphrodite just like her mother, became a target of relentless abuse and degradation by the very nuns and priests who were meant to protect her. Branded as a demonic presence, Maria was forbidden to leave the monastery, a once holy place that now echoed with sinister undertones. Haunted by the whispers of her true nature, Maria chronicled her harrowing experiences in a secret manuscript, exposing the unspeakable abuse endured by the nuns at the hands of the church. Terrified of the implications her revelations might have on religious belief, the institution devised a malevolent plan to silence Maria forever. They plotted for Maria to meet her demise at the age of 33, hoping that her death would mimic that of Jesus Christ himself thus solidifying her as a divine sign. But Maria, discovering their sinister scheme, refused to succumb to their wicked intentions. In a desperate act, she took her own life, defying their plans for martyrdom. Enraged by her defiance, the priests ordered the nuns to decapitate Maria and preserve her head in a macabre wooden box adorned with a cross and inscriptions. Within this unholy reliquary, Maria's secret lay hidden for generations, her severed head serving as a haunting reminder of a tortured soul. Fast forward to 1950, when the chilling truth was finally unveiled. Analysis of Maria's remains revealed astonishing hormonal imbalances, cementing the fact that she and her mother possessed the extraordinary ability of self-fertilization, defying the laws of nature. But why is Maria's head considered demonic? It is said that after her demise, eerie phenomena plagued the halls of the monastery, apparitions of Maria wandering aimlessly and ghostly cries echoing through the corridors. These inexplicable occurrences cemented the belief that her severed head carried an otherworldly presence. Dive deeper into the twisted enigma of the Vatican's hidden secrets. Stay tuned for more bone-chilling tales and be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Brace yourself, for there is much more to uncover in the hidden chambers of darkness.